Hello, super scientists. Today we're going to make our bubble solution it's for our bubbles, bubbles, bubbles. Um, so, what you need for today is you need kit F bubbles, bubbles, bubbles. And in that, you do, there's going to be a lot of different stuff, but you just need the vinegar, uh, not the vinegar, the dish detergent and glycerin, and the cornstarch and baking powder. Those two things. You're also going to need for this a big mixing bowl. Yep. And you're going to need something, a big mixing spoon. You're going to need six cups of water. We're going to use bottled water. Um, they say distilled or bottled works best. You can use just tap water if you don't have that, though. And then you're also going to need something to measure the water, since we're, we need six cups of water. So that's going to be that container, the measuring container over there. Yep, good. All right, let's get started. Okay, so first let's measure out the six cups of water. Your um, parent or helper could help you do that. Okay. All right, so we poured out our six cups of water and we're gonna put them in the big mixing bowl. Okay. Carefully pour it into the big mixing bowl. There you go. Good. Next, you will take your baking powder and pour it into the water and mix it in. In this video, it shows also we added cornstarch, but I found that the cornstarch really wasn't necessary to make but good bubble solution, so yours will have less powder to stir in. When you hear about cornstarch, just ignore it. The baking powder is all you need to stir in. All right, as you can see, the cornstarch and baking powder is pretty much dissolved in the water. And now we can add the dish detergent and the glycerin. So you want to stir it so it doesn't get frothy, they said in the direction. So slowly, if you stir it too quickly, it's going to get, mm -hmm, and it's going to get frothy. Okay. Let's pour the rest of this in. Some of it might be... Okay, keep stirring. All right, we are done mixing this in. The last thing we need to do is let is cover it up so it can sit without getting lots of dust and stuff in it. So we're going to take some saran wrap. I think a towel would work as well and we're gonna put it over the top of the container just to make sure it can sit. Good, we're gonna leave it sit. They say for at least an hour, but one article said even overnight. So that's why we're doing it the day before. Okay, great. All right, we are, our bubble solution is ready for tomorrow.